let's solve a question on how to find the order of a reaction now the question says the rate of a reaction doubles when the concentration of a is doubled but when the concentrations of both a and b are doubled the value of the rate remains exactly the same it does not change so what is the overall order of the reaction the reaction given to us is 2a plus b forms 3c now the initial rate can be written as r1 is equal to k into a power x times b power y where x is the order of the reaction with respect to a and y is the order of the reaction with respect to b so let's look at the first scenario where the concentration of a is doubled keeping the concentration of b constant in this case r2 is equal to k into 2a whole power x times b power y so basically the concentration of a is doubled here and we also know from the question that when the concentration of a doubles the rate of the reaction doubles right which means this new rate is twice the initial rate that is r2 is equal to 2 times r1 let's now substitute these equations here and when we do that we get 2x times k into a power x times b power y is equal to 2 multiplied by k into a power x times b power y now these two are exactly same so we can cancel them out and this would give us 2 power x is equal to 2 such that x is equal to 1 so that means the order of the reaction with respect to a reactant a is 1 let's use the same strategy to see what happens when the concentrations of both a and b are doubled but the value of rate does not change okay so here again let's write down the initial rate as r1 is equal to k into a power x times b power y r2 dash is the reaction rate when both the concentrations of a and b are doubled since the value of rate does not change it means the new rate is same as the initial rate that is r2 dash is equal to r1 let's now substitute these equations here and see what happens so when we do that we get k into a per x times b per y of r1 is equal to 2 per x times 2 power y into k into a per x times b per y so here again these terms get cancelled and what we get is 1 is equal to 2 per x times 2 per y from our previous calculations we know that the value of x is equal to 1 so that means 1 by 2 is equal to 2 per y or 2 per y is equal to 2 per minus 1 so from here we get y is equal to minus 1 that is the order of the reaction with respect to b is minus 1 now a negative order of minus 1 with respect to reactant b suggests a scenario where the increase in the concentration of a that increases the rate of the reaction is exactly offset by the increase in the concentration of b and this is why the overall rate of the reaction remains constant now although negative reaction order is much less common the order of minus 1 with respect to reactant b indicates that this reaction has a highly complex mechanism maybe it involves an inhibition step or it has a competing reaction pathway or may involve any other complex interactions so finally the rate law expression for the reaction can be written as rate is equal to k into a per x times b per y where x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1 as a result the overall order of the reaction is x plus y x is plus 1 y is minus 1 and that gives us the overall order of this reaction as 0